All right, so it's about that time of the month again where Boom Studios has released solicitations for their upcoming releases within the next couple of months. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Power Rangers Prime Issue 2 releasing in December. Now, Power Rangers Prime Issue 1 isn't even out yet, but we already have some information about Issue 2. So if you don't know what Power Rangers Prime is, Power Rangers Prime is the next big ongoing Power Rangers comic book series by Boom Studios, being written, being written by Melissa Flores, and I'm really, really excited to read Power Rangers Prime because the Power Ranger comics are still continuing, but not only that, these solicitations are teasing something big along the way. So like we always do, we're going to read the synopsis, we're going to look at the cover pages, break it down, speculate with what we know so far, and predict with what we might see in the nearby future. But not only that, I'm also going to go over future releases, but it's going to go past um, December that Boom Studios put out that Boom Studios put out in one of their press releases. So spoilers ahead like I've got here. So if you don't want to get spoiled, click off the video while you can, or come back later when you want to hear spoilers. So let's jump into the synopsis. So Power Rangers Prime, issue 2, release date. Not sure, I don't think they had that in the press release, but uh, issue 1 comes out on the 13th of November. So I'm guessing this is like a mid-month release when it comes to the comics for Boom Studios. This will be something they release within the uh, second week of the month. So, uh, let's read the synopsis. The new, more phenomenal era continues in the second action-packed issue of Power Rangers Prime. Conflict emerges around the future of Ranger, drawing in another iconic team and setting up a world-colliding crossover that fans have been theorizing about for years. Though I wonder what that means. Meanwhile, a fan-favorite villain has uncovered the remnants of a Samurizer, and the latent Morphin Grid energy could unleash a power unlike anything this universe has ever seen before. So, there's a lot to go over. So, we've got conflict around Lauren being a fugitive, who's going to be the main protagonist of the comic, or one of the many main protagonists, because it looks like we're setting up a brand new team as well, um, drawing in another iconic team, so that could be any Ranger team, but also a world colliding crossover that fans have been theorizing for years. That could mean anything as well. I mean, there's so many crossovers we could get for Power Rangers. Could we get the long-awaited Kamen Rider or Masked Rider crossover that fans have been wanting for years as well? I don't know. But it sounds like two teams of Power Rangers that could be crossing over that fans have been wanting for years, which could be any team, depending on who you're talking to. It could be any team. Sorry, I'm mumbling at my words. It could be any team that fans have been wanting for years within the last 30 years of Power Rangers. So it could be, I don't know, it could be Ninja Storm and Ninja Steel, Samurai and Ninja Storm. It could be Zeo and something else. It's hard to say at this point, but it's two teams that fans have been wanting to see crossover or theorize about crossing over for years. So that could throw your darts at the dartboard. That could be anyone. Now, a fan favorite villain is also up in the air for speculation. It could be anyone. It could be Rita. It could be Zed. It could be Astromina. It could be someone from another season of Power Rangers. Not entirely sure. But they uncover the remnants of the Samurizer. So, no idea what's going to go on there when they get the remnants of that Morpher. But it looks like the latent Morphin Grid energy is going to mess things up within the universe. So, like I said... We don't know anything about issue one at this point, apart from what they put out in press releases. I get the feeling at the start of November or near the end of October, possibly we could see solicitations going out for preview pages where we'll probably get a glimpse of what the first few pages will look like with some speech bubbles and some dialogue. Or we'll see some different preview pages from what we've seen so far. So I'll definitely be covering those on the channel when they drop <clears throat> so also another release coming out which i'll talk about before i talk about the covers for power engines Prime issue 2 is that the soft cover for the altarian war is coming out in february 2025 so this will be uh, the altarian war in a soft cover release it is the hardcover release which is fairly expensive but the soft cover is going to go for 20 dollars retail 
and you'll get Mighty Morphin issue 13 to 16 and Power Rangers issue 13 to 16. So if you want the extra stories that's in the hardcover, I believe the hardcover has Countdown to Ruin, uh, the Andro story. I don't know if this is going to contain that as well, but usually the hardcovers have the bonus um, unlimited book. So if you want to read the Altarian War, they are doing the soft cover release for it. That's coming out in February. So get excited for that. Altarian War is up there with one of my favorite comic book storylines. So if you haven't read it yet, or you want to read it in like the best way to read it without reading the different volumes or reading all the different separate issues, that soft cover is going to be the cheapest way to read it. Because you're getting about, let's see, 13, 14, 15, 16. You're getting about like eight issues for $20. Um, plus, you'll probably have a cover gallery in the back somewhere. So let's jump into the covers here. So give me one moment <clears throat> to pull this up. Okay, so let me just jump into window capture. Uh, December. No. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Okay, it's not letting me do it that way. All right, so here we are. Here is the main cover for Power Rangers Prime Issue 2. So we've got Lauren, uh, not, yeah, Lauren? Yeah, is it Lauren? Yeah. Okay, because last time I said Laura. Um, but it's Lauren, and she's running around Angel Grove. Uh, you can see here. Uh, so we have this weird futuristic version of Angel Grove. And I like their fit. Their fit looks pretty cool. But you can zoom in, in the back, and you can see what possibly would be the new Ranger team that we'll be seeing in the nearby future. So, no idea who these characters are, what their names are, what colours they're going to be, but that's what the brand new team looks like, possibly. So, that's the main cover. Here's the second cover, which is teasing a lot of people with the Zeo Rangers, which a lot of people wanted the Zeo Ranger sequel, which we don't know if we will or we won't get, because will we see the Zeo Rangers show up in Power Rangers Prime? No idea, but I think a lot of people just wanted the mainline comics to jump from like either Season 2 that they were retelling to Season 3, then do Zeo, or just go from Darkest Hour and then have a time skip and then go into Zeo. But with Zeo Rangers on the cover, could we see the Zeo Rangers show up at all? Melissa did tease, but we could be seeing someone from Megaforce and Jungle Fury show up in Power Rangers Prime, so who knows who those characters will be. And then we have the uh, Bon cover, which Bon, if you don't know, uh, Bon, is it Bon Bondario? I believe the name is. But Bon is known for doing a lot of covers for Power Rangers. If you see that profile picture I've got as my YouTube um, profile pic, they did that for me years ago. It's still my YouTube profile pic. So if you've seen that like picture of me when I'm in like a collab with like Henry or someone else like that, that's where they get it from. So. That, that's the artist who also did my profile picture from way back in the day. Um, and then we've got this, this cover, which looks really nice. And we also might have an idea who the villain might be. So we've got Lauren here holding the helmet. You've got Jaden Sheba in the background. Jaden Sheba the goat, as Ranger Toa would say. And then you've got in the back, you've got Lauren's brand new outfit. And then in the eyes of a blade... Or the little, um, yeah, the little, uh, what's the name of the, um, little, the small Japanese blade? It's got a name, but I don't know the name of it. Lauren's gonna chop off some pinky fingers with that blade. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, she's got that blade in her hands. Looks pretty cool, I will say that. It's, like, not a katana, but it's, like, a little, um, blade. People are laughing, I mean, I'm just calling, like, a little blade right now. But... We can see some glowing red eyes in the background with what appears to be white hair or silver hair. So, is this someone we know? Or is this someone we will see that we've never seen before? That's the big speculation. But this cover looks really freaking cool. This might be the main thumbnail. Or this might be the main thumbnail. Or this might be the main thumbnail because people want to see Zeo. Um, but here's also the other cover for Eltarian War, the soft cover, which is one of the previous um, covers we had before. I believe this was the issue 12 cover, if I remember correctly. Um, if my brain is remember, no, issue, was it issue 12? I think it was issue 12. Because issue 13 was the start of the Eltarian War, if I remember correctly. 
So we've got that. Yeah, this was issue 12, because issue 13 was the start of the war. But here's what the cover looks like, and it looks really freaking cool. Um, done by Lee Hyuk. No, Lee and Huck. I always butcher their name. But Lee's done really amazing work. Like, they do a lot of artwork for Marvel Snap and stuff like that. But here's the cover for the Altarian War. So, jumping back to the solicitations... I have no idea what's going to happen in Power Rangers Prime Issue 2. I mean, Issue 1 is like a couple of months away, so all we can do is speculate at this point and theorize what we could see. I thought I'd be making more theory videos for Power Rangers Prime, but I feel like I broke down a lot in my video where I talked about everything we know so far. But we'll definitely be getting more information about Power Rangers Prime in the nearby future. I believe in October is New York Comic Con. So if Boom Studios is going to be there, no doubt we'll get some more information and probably some more upcoming releases because it will be in October. So you'll get those Comic-Con releases or those Comic-Con announcement releases coming out like within the next couple of months. So definitely be excited for that if Boom Studios has something new cooking up their sleeves. Not that I know anything, but usually at a Comic-Con, sometimes we get a big announcement, I will say that. But anyway, guys, what are your thoughts and what are your theories and what are your speculations on Power Rangers Prime issue two? Are you looking forward to Power Rangers Prime? Are you not looking forward to Power Rangers Prime? Tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And with that said, I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care and bye.